everyone, Brittany here again. Today I wanted to take a little bit of a step back from SEO, content marketing, uh, digital marketing in general to take it back to basics a little bit and talk about one of the most important things that property managers do and that's the client relationship. So I have a few tips that I wanted to talk to you about to maybe better improve the communication and customer service that you have with clients with the end goal of keeping them happier and keeping them longer. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is communicating with clients, whether it's communicating with tenants or communicating with owners. It's really important that number one, you answer the phone, you, you all know this, but it goes beyond that. It goes into taking a deeper look at what a problem might be. So if somebody's calling you with an issue or a problem that they're hoping you can help solve, instead of just giving them a basic response, make sure to dive a little bit deeper into what the problem might be. That could save you time in the long run in case you don't fully understand what the issue is, and it could make the owner or the tenant feel a lot more comfortable with you managing their home or managing the home that they live in. Problem solving goes a long way. Point two, kind of piggybacks off of that, is building loyalty with your customers. So yes, problem solving, communication, but when they ask you a question, be honest with them. If it's the right time to sell their property, and it's probably the best price they're going to get for it, let them know that. But also let them know if you keep your property long term, here's how much money you're going to make residually from that income. So honesty, consultation, making sure they feel like you are a resource and not just somebody collecting the rent every month, which again, we know that's not all that you do, but sometimes that's what owners see, that's what tenants see. So making it very clear the value that you bring. The next point is for those tenants that stay in your rental property for six years, for the owners that are with you six years or keep coming to you to help them grow their portfolio, make sure you let them know that you appreciate them. Send them a nice email every once in a while. Send them a gift basket if they keep sending referrals your way. Just thanking people can have a major impact and again, keep them around for long term. You know what keeping tenants means? Low, lower turnover costs, more income for the owners. That leaves owners to stick around longer and everyone's really happy. Now the last thing is, and, and kind of umbrellas over all of these, is making sure to ask for feedback. You're never gonna know what's working and what's not if you don't ask for feedback. Now, obviously this plays into requesting reviews, but it's a lot bigger than that. It's sending out a survey, shooting an owner an email, shooting a tenant an email, being like, hey, how are things going? The feedback that you're able to gain from opinions, whether it's a, a, a good experience, a bad experience, a mediocre experience, whether the person was in the right, or you were in the right, or they were in the wrong, or you were in the wrong. You're always able to learn something from that. So asking for feedback is gonna help you continually get better at all of the things I mentioned before and keep going from there. So those are just a few tips that I wanted to talk to you about on a basic level. I'm sure you are all doing an awesome job at this, but it's always worth mentioning to see if there's any way we can help you improve your operations and improve the growth of your business. Please feel free to give me a call at four and a half or any of us here on the team. We'd love to hear from you. Talk to you later.